Please don't be you. How are you alive? No. Don't. Why didn't you try to find me? Don't do that. Do what? Ask me a question you won't accept the answer to. How can you be with them? That's the one. I can't believe it. Jack! Report in, soldier. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm here, sir. I, um, I, I found out the Binding Stone was created in a shrine fort somewhere in eastern Oroman. No exact location, but it's a start. Bad news is, I think Thaddeus died helping us find that out. I'm sorry, sir. I know you two were close. Don't blame yourself. I, uh, I had a tale. Sandrak will know we're coming for the Shrine Forge. That just means we'll come heavy. Return to the Palathon for mission planning. The surface of Eastern Oriman is an endless desert. We'll never find the Shrine Forge this way. I'll switch back to the islands just above the Tempest Lair. The conquering hero returns. Hey, hero. See if you can make out anything but sand. Really with this? Already? Why are we looking at sand? Thaddeus gave me the history of Sandrak's Binding Stone. As you say, sir, it's some real end of time shit. The Aristea couldn't survive it, so our chances are on the wrong side of zero. Before he died, Thaddeus told me that the Shrine Forge used to create this Binding Stone was... Under all that sand. Maybe. He didn't specify whether it was on the surface, which is completely blasted by magical fallout, or the islands above, which stretch out forever west. Wait a second. Did you say Thaddeus died? Yeah. Um... The Hand of Sandrak was following me. Had a team of Nightblades with her, and... and... What matters now is that we have a location for a location. And that's better than yesterday. We find this Shrine Forge. We're one step closer to finding some weakness in Sandrak's hold over the Binding Stone. I'll break out our scrying records on Rasharnian troop movements in Oriman within the last year. You know, they say one after effect of being inside a massive volcano is dehydration. I'm just tired. Get some rest. Narrowing down this search to anything actionable is likely to take all night. I might have an idea on how to shorten that. This was extraordinary work, Initiate. Thank you, sir. Jack, hold up. I'm supposed to do with 
that. Story for another day. It's the mind walk, isn't it? The spell went crazy, and now you and I can do this. I think so. How much can you see? Nothing, really. I see you, and the rest is just colors that can't hold their shape. I can only hear you, too. <laughs> Don't worry, I can't spy on you or sneak into your war room. No, no, it's not that. I... I just wanted you to see this room. The one they gave me, it's... I mean, it's crazy awesome. Super big. When you look glum like that, it reminds me of when the Upbridge gang stole your shoes. <laughs> Don't. Don't bring up Saren. Not like that. Tell me, have you ever seen the color Salamine? It only exists in Rashan. It's one of the first things I noticed when they took me here. Just stop, Luna. Rashan doesn't have its own colors. But it really does. Come visit me. You'll see. <laughs> How can you even ask me that? Because I miss my best friend. I want you to see what I've done here. Who I am now. I have that farm I always used to talk about. Can you believe Rashan it? Sharn almost killed you, Luna. I, I thought they did. For years. I, I thought you were dead. It's like... When you nap too long out in the sun, when you open your eyes, everything's kind of blue, but all mixed in. Imagine that, and put a pearl inside. That's what the color Salomon looks like. You don't get it, do you, Jack? All you are is angry. I'm trying my best not to get angry. Angry that the next time we see each other, one of us is going to kill the other. I just wanted us to talk and forget about that for a minute or two. Luna, wait! Shine, friend. Kirka needs everyone in the war chamber. Did we find the Shrine Forge? We might be close. I brought in a specialist to help crack the case. A specialist in... Shrine Forges? No. In Oriman. Are they named Kenzie? Up and at him, sleepyhead! I was just taking Kenzie here to meet Zendara. I predict they'll get along famously. Uh, wait, 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 not yet. Wait for me. Can you believe it? The anarchist has set aside her disgust of military institutions long enough to help us out. Oh, no. <laughs> There's still plenty of disgust. Would you two cut it out? They're waiting for us. Now, Kenzie, I appreciate our verbal fencing about the rabble's pillow-fisted outrage against the gentry, but the very large one there? She's actual royalty, so maybe not so much. Maybe none. Hmm? Look, I'm here because I want the Rasharnians out of my home, not to make nice with some princess that thinks... Oh, my... I see. So it's all eat the rich until someone gets the vapors. Welcome to the Palathon, Kenzie of the Sky Tribes of Oramin. The Kingdom of Lucium is grateful for any help that you can give us. You bet. Are you 
you scrying the entirety of Oramen at the same time? You'd need hundreds of scrying constructs to pull this off. Thousands. No wonder the rest of the kingdoms think Lucians are always lurking in the shadows. The amount of border alliance and fractions here is... <sighs> even for wartime. Yep, it really is an impressive feat of modern arcano engineering, but moving right along... You mispronounced invasive. Hm. When's the last time Oramon even pretended to be a wartime? <sighs> You're looking at her. It's okay, Zendara. Kenzie's right. I'll submit a formal apology to Oramon's High Council the next time they convene at Nosea. In case you hadn't heard, Sandrak destroyed Nosea, so she's being... I heard. Oh, so you did catch the shade. Very good. You're looking in the Tempest Slayer? That's the wrong place. Those islands are the newer ones. You gotta look underneath, where the first islands were dislodged. We checked. There are no Aristean ruins on the surface of those. Who said anything about the surface? The Aristea love an underground temple. Flip it. You're shitting me. See? I did have a good idea. Bringing her in, I mean. Ley lines are too unstable in that storm. And they will have powered down their portals. There's only one way we say hello. Get prepped for a combat drop. You heard the Grand Magnus. Grab your gear and head to the airship docks. I'll tell Captain Selko it's go time. Gotta find Selko. Captain, is our airship ready for launch to Oramen? Just give the word, sir. Her hull's watered against the word. No time to lose. Let's go.
Shoot! Recognize this place. Daddy has showed it to me. There's got to be some kind of theoretical making machine thing here. Probably inside. And this machine will show us a weakness to the binding stone? In theory. So we don't know what to do once we're inside. I figured we'd improvise. You mean you would improvise? That entrance is blocked by a triarch ward. You're the only one going in. I'll get the portals Lucky powered here, back up sir. for a return trip. Figure out how to destroy the Binding Stone, and let's get out of here.
important. Talking about someone else, you're mistaking me for a guy named Sandrak, which frankly feels a little creepy. But anyway, I want to destroy the Binding Stone. You're not listening. I don't have a Binding Stone or a Mark. I can't surrender what I don't have. I already told you, I'm not... Wait. You can give me the same mark as Sandra. Control it, or destroy it. You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. You don't win in ever war. If he found a way to use the Binding Stone, so can we. It's mastery over the funks means I can end the war. Then I choose to end the war. Give me the mark to control the Binding Stone. Next, I guess. All right, so that's what disobeying orders feels like. Not so good. it out please say yes yeah we're uh we're good to go with this i can destroy the binding stone we just have to get close enough to sandrak how do you propose we do that when we don't even know where he is this mark gives me a connection to the binding stone i can feel where it is i can, I can feel where sandrak is he's moving east towards the deep near there's a font in the ocean sounds like it all right, pack it in. We're leaving soon. What's the place, sir? Devin and I will stay here at the Shrine Forge for a bit. See if we can find anything else of interest. And rig it to blow when the Rashanians return. You need to get back to the Palathon and brief Kirken. I want to. Yeah, we are. Fuck you. Now head back. Back at the Palathon. Well done, soldier. Meet me in the vault. We can finally have that conversation that I've been trying to avoid. Sir? Back here, Jack. Here. This dossier is for you. My report of Sandrak's time as an immortal. Some... 
I was hoping for more than a summary. You know... To let it... In. Come. Uh, sure. It yeah. Let Sandrax definitely sailing the deep mirror, but his movements are weird. Erratic. Unfortunately, we can't afford to send a large force out to sea. Most of the Light's army musters at the front, and we need them to remain there. You, Zandara, and Devin will have to face Sandrak alone. Well, now, it'll take time to wake her up. She's not seen service in a very long time. Captain Selko's a fine steersman, if I recall correctly. And I can guide him to wherever Sandrak is, using my mark. That's the plan. Now, unless you have something else to ask me. You've been hiding anything and everything about Sandrak being an immortal since day one. Tell me, Jack. And they betrayed... Yes, absolutely. I'd have to know how it even got to that point. Sandrak and I were companion in arm, and then one... What mission? And we're back to that. Look, he made a decision... Ah. For the breaking of his oaths to... That last part... Did... All right. Zendara and... De oh, I think she's a bit smit. Yeah, I don't know if it's... Come up to the war chamber. Devin and I have decided that since we might die in the morning, we should uh, get hammered. Yes, that. <laughs> On my way. I've got a hundred of Lori chasing me. Nowhere to go. All by myself. And then, boom! I'm grabbed by the neck. I can't, I can't read. <gasps> sure, just interrupt my story in the rudest, most disgusting way imaginable. That's cool. I honestly forgot you were telling one. Oh, did I ever tell you guys about the time I almost turned a hundred years old? My company was holed up in the trenches at True Haven Pass, and I was still assigned to Light's Army then. Medical watch, yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a lie. Absolutely serious. The Roshanians hit the trench with an aging spell. By morning, we're suddenly too tired to fight. We're too infirm. Our brains are muddled. We've got the cataracts. So, anyway, I see myself in a mirror, right? I look like my father! My father was a very unattractive man, Jack. We call him the Turtle. I am not going to age well. So tell me, sir, when did you say to yourself, Hey, bigotry, it's not really so bad, is it? I have to make a far call. Are you referring, Initiate, to why I think the Unforeseen are a curse? Uh, yep. Telenir was a small city in Kalthus. 
priests there believed that the Lightless were given some divine role by the Pentasad, and they didn't allow Magni within their walls. Can you imagine? A city without magic? Ah, uh, I'm not an asshole, so yes. <laughs> One day, at some morning prayer, a young girl, in unforeseen, just exploded with wild magic. She died screaming as spellfire erupted from her body. All of Telenir started burning. And because there were no Magni around, this wild magic went unchecked. The whole city and everyone in it were reduced to ashes. That's all very sad and terrible, sir. But we're not all that little girl. That's not how it happened with me. It could have. There's no protection against your kind. And when you do happen, more often than not, people around you die. Okay, enough of that. My father always said the best way to mend bridges between parties that held wildly divergent opinions was to find a commonality in vice. Drink up, nerds. <laughs> Another. How the fucking bird get in here? Oh, good. You see it too. You. You still have that thing about birds. Birds absolutely do not give a shit about the way their heads look when they walk. I, I would be more surprised. Another. Dead. It's him, isn't it?